So we've all been there. You find yourself out shooting and you need to take a long exposure, whether it's one second or five seconds or 10 seconds or longer, but you don't have a tripod. So what do you do? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the tips and tricks that I've come up with over the years and how I stabilize. Stick around. So long exposure photography is one of our favorite things to do, uh, but you know you can't always plan ahead for it. And sometimes you're out there and you didn't expect to be taking long exposures, uh, so you didn't have a tripod with you. Uh, so what do you do? Uh, one of the most reliable old fashioned things uh, is the bean bag. Uh, this bean bag here actually is probably the oldest piece of photography equipment that I have. My wife made this thing for me, uh, I don't even know how long ago, decades ago. Um, and it's kind of been, you know, in my bag off and on uh, ever since. It's basically just a piece of fabric with some, I don't even know what's in here, I can't even tell you. Uh, but you can use a really lightweight substance, like the little styrofoam uh, balls, those tiny little balls of styrofoam. Uh, use something like that. Uh, fill it up in, you know, maybe a microfiber cloth, sew it up, you can make it yourself. They sell them, but you can make these things yourself at home. And basically it works uh, just just like this. You know, you basically find a place where you want to shoot, you look at what your composition is going to be, and this basically just props your camera however you need it. Whatever you need to compose, uh, you can prop it this way, you can prop it this way. Um, if you, As long as you have a surface to lay it on, a stable surface, like the ground, a table, uh, a garbage pail, a bench, I could go on and on, a uh, fence post. Uh, you can lay it like this uh, and shoot no problem. So this is a great way to stabilize. But you don't always have a bean bag with you. You can't always plan ahead for that. So what else do you have? Well, I always have with me in my bag a microfiber towel uh, for really any purposes. Uh, if my stuff gets wet, I can wipe it off. Um, it's kind of just like this, it's really not that big. Uh, but I have it with me wherever I go. Something like this can be used. You roll it up a little bit, you roll it up a lot. Uh, and you can do the exact same thing I just did with the bean bag, uh, but with a even smaller and lighter uh, thing to carry around, uh, something like this. So you can prop it this way, you can prop it this way. As long as, like I said, as long as you can leave it and it stays still, you're good. You can take your long exposures. So something like this, you can vary the width of it, you can vary how you shape it. Um, you can make it really high like this, you can make it low like this. Whatever you want to do, something like this works great. If you don't have something like this, or you don't want to carry any extra weight around, um, you know anything that you can use. I always have Ziploc bags with me uh, for purposes, uh, so I always have something like that. So if I didn't have you know something like this or this, or I needed something even more stable than this, have a Ziploc bag. If you're you know on a beach or near a beach, you can throw some sand in here. You can turn this into a bean bag. Uh, rocks, leaves, anything that you could put in here, garbage. Uh, whatever you want to put in here, you can turn something like this, a Ziploc bag, um, into a bean bag. And then really from there, anything that you can find. Uh, I always have you know, lens hoods uh, either in my bag or attached to my lens. You know, something like this, these wide angle lens hoods have these funny shapes to them like this. You know, something like this, you can put it on the ground and you can stabilize with that. You know, it's tough finding exactly the right angle, um, but you know, anything like that. See how it sits there like that, facing up. Framing might not be exactly what you want. Composition might not be exactly what you want, but you know, in a pinch, something like that works great. Um, I've used things like uh, you know an extra sweatshirt, uh, an extra t-shirt. I've used things like my shoe. The shoes work great. Let me just tell you that right now. Okay, you put your shoe on the ground. Uh, you stick your camera back here like this. It's a little tough finding exactly the right spot, and different shoes work differently. Uh, but once you have it figured out it's gonna stay in place like that. So that's a shoe tripod right there. I'll show you a couple other things, but then I'll tell you the most important thing to this whole thing. You know, if you have, you know, your glasses, I got my reading glasses here, you know, use those, boom, prop it up just like that. Anything that you have, you know, your keys, your wallet, you know, a trifold wallet like this, uh, you can make it thicker, you can open it up, take some of that money out, make it smaller, anything that you can do uh, to prop up the camera like that. But the most important thing so this whole thing is stabilization. That's what it's all about. That's what we're trying to do is keep our camera stable. So once you have it on there, you need to use something to fire the shutter with. Now, uh, cable release is really the best thing to use, but again, you didn't plan on shooting long exposures. You didn't have your cable release with you. So what else can you do? You can use the timer uh, on your camera. You can use a two second or 10 second timer. You know, 10 second timer is probably the best thing. Push the button, you wait 10 seconds, it takes the shot. 
Uh, this way you have the least shake possible. But if you have this thing propped in exactly the right spot and you don't even want to touch the shutter at all, uh, you definitely want to be able to trigger it a different way. So I always have with me uh, a remote uh, shutter release. This one's made by Canon. Uh, it works with my Canon cameras. Uh, they have off-brand ones that work also, but this is like 20 bucks. I actually have two of these. One of these is in my camera bag. This one is like literally always with me. Uh, there's a little ring here. It's I put it on my keychain. It's always, always with me uh, because I don't ever want to be without something like this because this is the final piece in a setup like this that can make or break your shot. Uh, is being able to fire the shutter remotely without touching any of this. Once you have it all set up perfectly and it's balanced perfectly, uh, you don't want to touch this thing at all. So all you got to do, all it is is a button. There's just one button on here. You hit the button, it fires the shutter just like that. I've taken tons of shots with a setup like this or you know, with my wallet under there or, or sitting on my shoe. I've taken so many fireworks shots, long exposures uh, you know, with my camera propped on my sneaker. Uh, than, than I care to admit. But a setup like this, you know, especially in a pinch, uh, you just have to know how to do it, how to get it set up, uh, and it'll work great for you. you know, not as great as a tripod, obviously, um, but it'll work great for you every time. So I'm interested to hear if you have other things that you do, other tricks and tips that you have for stabilizing your camera in odd situations where you don't have your tripod and you just have you know, the things that you have with you at the time. Put them in the comments below, I'd love to hear them. There's another cool product called a Platypod. I did a video on it last week, a uh, quick video on that, reviewing that. It's basically just a metal plate that you put your, your ball head on, you put your camera on. If you don't have a tripod, you bring that with you. Uh, it works as stable as a tripod, uh, much more stable than this situation here. It's as stable as a tripod, but you know, you, you, it's gonna be on the ground or on a table, just like a situation like this. So best thing in the world to use is a tripod. Definitely always have one with you. Uh, if you don't have something like that, if you had something like the Platypod, uh, use that. Uh, but in a pinch, you can always stabilize your camera. There's so many different ways to do it. And like I said, if you have other ways, definitely mention them in the comments below. I'd love to hear. I hope you found this a little bit interesting. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for liking and subscribing and clicking on that little notification bell uh, because I know you want to be notified every time we post a video. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.